Hello everyone watching on YouTube and welcome back to more Horizon Zero Dawn. We're gonna load back up the Frozen Wilds today. I'm streaming this on the 9th, so we're nine days away. I'm pretty sure the 18th is when Forbidden West comes out. We are nine days away from the release of Horizon Forbidden West. I'm hoping we can make a good chunk of progress today so that maybe next stream I can wrap up the Frozen Wilds and we can kind of, you know, call the playthrough to a close just in time for Forbidden West to come out. I am so ready. I'm so excited. I can't wait. I was just tweeting about it earlier today that I have just, like, I cannot remember a time I was this hyped for the sequel to a game. Maybe Kingdom Hearts 3 back in... Kingdom Hearts 3 came out in 2019 or 2020? I think Age 3 came out in 2019, right? Remind was in 2020? Or maybe it was 2020 20, and then 2021. I don't remember. But I think it was 2019. But uh, even then, I don't think I was quite as excited for Kingdom Hearts 3 as I am for Forbidden West. I am just really, really looking forward to that game. But anyways, last we left off, we were uh, going to enter the Grey Catch, this little ruin over here. So let's just, let's just get in it. Headset is a little loud. I'm going to turn that down. Also, for those of you here watching live, we're going to be watching the Nintendo Direct during today's stream. So probably what we're going to do is we're going to play Horizon for about 40-ish minutes, give or take. That'll, you know, add up to two YouTube videos. Flooding detected. Evacuation recommended. Overflow basin compromised. Oh, no. Overflow basin. Is that the dip? Maybe it is. I guess we'll find out. But uh, we'll knock out about 40 minutes of Zero Dawn, and then we're going to switch over to the Direct and watch that. I think it's supposed to be like a 40-ish minute event, so we'll do that for about an hour. Talk a little before it, talk a little after it, and then we'll just jump right back into Horizon Zero Dawn. I want to get at least a good Looks three like hours in today. What happened in here to start the water flowing? Ooh, missing a power oh cell, huh? Piece is missing. Not getting in here without it. I also see... see but this room looks like it's packed with old stuff. Might be something useful. I also see we have a little uh, thing to scan once we get through there. The heck is going? Oh, what's that right there? There. Wait, there's a person. And there's our troublemaker. Doesn't seem to be as good at getting out as he is at getting in. Nice. What's this? Secret show. What a nice little, little ditty that was. Intake tower malfunction. Drainage system offline. That's probably not good news. Uh, it could be good news. Looks like most of the facility is underwater. How did this happen? Dirty, needed a bath? It has like two scan things here, but I think it's just one, actually. Can I get through here over to this guy? This looks like I can pry it open. Yeah. How could that have happened, buddy? How'd you get trapped? What'd you do? What if I just, like, open it? Are you all right? <laughs> well, you don't know how happy you just made me. <laughs> For a moment, I thought my fire was snuffed. My forge gone cold. But nope, nope. Not old Gildan. You're welcome. Uh, wait. Start from the beginning. What are you doing down here? Ow! My apologies. <laughs> when you mostly talk to yourself, you can tell your stories in whatever order you like. There's an artifact in that storage room I simply must acquire. But as you may have noticed, the door won't budge. I took one of those roundish, ringy what's-its from the wall beside the door. No luck. So I had to go with that panel with the button. Even less luck. My gentle experimentation caused the chamber to... 
blood. So I push the button again, perhaps a little too enthusiastically. Sparks and smoke. <laughs> now, obviously, I came here to investigate. My cautious footsteps may have contributed slightly to the collapse of a bridge. And when the bridge began to collapse, I may have, for the sake of expedience, abandoned the cumbersome ringy what's it to the waves. By the time I thought to give up the endeavor, the door had closed behind me. <laughs> and thusly do we come to the present moment. You said something about an artifact? Indeed. That storage room is brimming with treasures from the old ones. But one in particular caught my eye. An intricate looking glass. I've only seen one such device before. My old mom brought one back for me from... from wherever she'd gone to that time. I remember holding it, staring into its face. Seeing myself and my mother just over my shoulder, smiling. And one of these looking glasses, it's in the storage room. Oh, yes, I'm quite sure. I peered into that dim little chamber and there it was. I've wanted to find one for so long, I... Yes, this time I'm sure I have. Well, there's no way we're getting into that storage room without another ring. It's part of the locking mechanism that controls the door. You don't say. Well, that's fantastic news. Marvelous, even. You've got two hands. I've got two hands. Perfect. <laughs> my savior, my salvation. And if you like, why wouldn't you? Of course you will. My accomplice. <laughs> Together, that ring is as good as ours. And with it, the storage room and its spoils. Didn't you say you dropped the ring in the water? Well. I'll grant you that adds a heretofore undiscussed level of complexity to the proceedings. So you found the button that controls the flow of water. <laughs> quite by accident. And then you broke that button. Also quite by accident. The panel's the only way to shut this place down, as far as I can tell. This isn't going to be easy. That storage room is filled, top to bottom. Would you be surprised to find the parts you need in there? I certainly wouldn't be. So, we need to replace that ring and get into the storage room. Then I can fix the panel and shut this place down. And I can finally wrap my fingers around that looking glass. Okay, Gildan. How are we gonna get that ring? Two sets of hands, girl! Two sets of hands! Behind us lie a pair of enormous gates, but I believe the gates must be operated in tandem. Together, we can dry this place out. Guess we better get started, then. I guess we better. I love how disgusted Aloy looks when he touches her her hands. Two pairs of hands, and she's looking at him like, like, I know you did not just touch me. How dare you? Apparently, the audio comes with little extra text to read. I'd rather it all just be voiced, but apparently I'm going to have to read some of it. This? Is this what I got? That's the tall neck. Is it like with this? I don't like it when, th there's some of these in the normal game too, I don't like it when there's audio plus text to read. Either give me a text thing to read or give me an audio thing to listen to, not both. I want one or the other. Dear Nobody, as far as I can tell, that's who's gonna read this. Those spooky guys showed up today with that creep Blevins to take measurements of our workstations, and next week they start installing Faro servitors to do our jobs. Bye bye Shelly, bye bye Laura, see you never, hope you enjoy basic income. It's gonna be weird to say goodbye to this place. When Quentin and I split, this was all I had. Thank goodness for a job where I could sit at a panel and press buttons and cry all day. Which I think is why we're doing this, hiding the tapes of our rehearsals in the dam. These tapes are our memories, our ghosts. Through them, we get to haunt this place, keep it human in some small way. This control room was where I was sitting when Laura came in dragging an old practice amp and a guitar behind her. Shells, she said. Girls, so I was looking at schematics for this place and I found the perfect practice space, the acoustics in this place. Seriously bonkers, like echoing through the entire valley kinds of bonkers. Legit, you're gonna soil yourself when you see it. That's disgusting. I remember asking, practice space? Peace, Shelly. All right then. Up ahead, girl. See the valve? Time to put our hands to use. I'll take care of this one. There's another valve on the other side to lock the gate in place. Would you mind heading across and uh, doing the honors? Across we shall go. You know, I'm reminded of a job I undertook out near the claim. Man, I am so far away from Gildan and he's still trying to chat with me. That's dedication to uh, not wanting to be alone.
Hello. I'm on this side now. All right. Thank goodness my knees are reinforced with magical holographic technology. Otherwise, that could have been a little spooky. You don't suppose full-on medicine, huh? Marvelous! You made it. Now grab that valve and give it a spin. On it. Let's do it. A little more now, and I should be able to get the blasted gate moving. There. You should be able to lower the gate. Huh? Right, you are. Now, when I get this gate down, you'll need to turn the valve again. Ought to lock this thing in place. I'm on it. Lock this bad boy. Hey. One gate down. Halfway through then, aren't we? To the second gate. That is a lot less water. Well, that's nice. A ladder is a rare and special thing, girl. <laughs> Can depend on it to take you exactly where you need to go and no further. What on earth is this guy on about? Ladders are very commonplace. Mm. I'd wager the valves for the second sluice gate are somewhere above us. How are we gonna get up there? Looks like I could jump across on that rickety rusting platform. Wait a minute. Is this moving? Yeah, it's swaying a little bit. It looks like I'm going there? I don't think I can make this jump, though. Oh. I'm fine. Oh, that broke. I don't think I can make this jump. Let's find out. Never mind, I'm nice a gamer. Jump. <laughs> nice. What am I saying? That was stupendous. Never seen such absolute disregard for personal safety. I'm all Thanks. about absolute I disregard think. for my own personal safety. It's how I live my life. Oh, hi. Ready? One, two, three, four. Caught sellouts and run away, Callum. Oh, we see her. Okay. I forgot where it's in. Shells, we started off so strong and then all just didn't go. Well, that's sort of my MO. How interesting. Dear Nobody, when I took this job, we had to watch this training hollow, and I re remember probably 2% of the actual hollow. At some point, the hollow welcomed me to the damn family, and I felt like, A, that was such a missed opportunity because they could have called it a damnly and chose not to, and BJ had the idea that I would ever think of any of my coworkers. Oh, and B, I had the idea I would never think of any of my coworkers as family because that would be pretty ridiculous. I absolutely butchered reading the B section of that. I was too busy chuckling at Damley and how stupid that is, and it's something that Shroom would come up with. But then one day I looked up and automation had whittled six people down to just Laura and I, and I was signing papers to dissolve the family I thought I had. Suddenly my last coworker with her faded tattoos and perpetually arched eyebrows was telling me jokes and making me listen to bands I'd never heard of and cheering me up when I cried. Things were really good when it was just the two of us. We used to have these theme days. One time, the sluice gates were open, and we set up beach blankets on one of the catwalks in the intake tower and batted around this inflatable beach ball I had in my apartment for some reason. Laura messed around with the emergency PA and patched in a bunch of classical surf rock songs. We even put sunscreen on the bridges of our noses. Laura called it the Concrete Beach Party. When Laura brought up band names, I knew pretty much right away that that would be our name, Concrete Beach Party. There was never really any other choice. You guys aren't very creative at uh, band names, huh? Oh, Hi, close, I'm here. Girl. Just spring across the gap. Right, you want me to make this jump? Okay. <sighs> Think just for that little grab ah, point right there. You're right above me. Just send that ladder on down. Look out below. I feel like it would have been safer and more effective for him now to like hoist me up to before. jump and grab the ladder. Be as easy as falling down a hole. If you take the valve on the other side. It's set up the same way on this side. I should look for an access tunnel. This Why have I always got to get to the more dangerous side? Door 
Don't mind me, just passing through. Uh, not going any further that way. Thank goodness for this little bit right here. I love seeing the little sparks of the holographic armor going over Aloy's body every now and then. That is a, that's weird. What a weird thing to have Aloy snap onto to walk across right there. What are you, no, what are you doing? Get off of that. Uh-huh, Gildan. Yeah, Gildan, whatever you said, dude, I wasn't listening. Nor was I reading the subtitles. Okay, Gildan, turn the valve. Yeah, it's not working! Damn thing's too heavy. Glance behind me, would you? See anything big and, uh, broken? Looks like part of the counterweight broke off. If I can get up there, my weight might be enough to get it moving again. Uh, hang on, okay? I've got a plan. I need to get up higher. Could climb up that wreckage. That's pretty much what I do now. This'll work out Oh, whoops. Goodbye. Ah, thank you for a quick checkpoint. I appreciate that. I thought I was jumping to that right there. Is that not what I'm jumping to? That is definitely what I'm jumping to. I must have jumped wrong. Where am I supposed to clip on? Whoop. Okay, that was weird. I don't know why I didn't clip onto it the first time, but whatever. This game is very good with checkpoints, thankfully, so it didn't matter. Hi, I'm up here now. Surely this can't go wrong. That's what I'm jumping onto, right? Is that the counterweight? Straight to the counterweight from here. I could climb higher, get above it. Yeah, that'll work out. Whoop. Oh, I was really worried I was not gonna snap to grab that, but thankfully I did. Well, here we go. I'm gonna be down. honest, I did not think Aloy would really weigh enough to make the difference on this balance. Maybe it's the armor. I believe it makes much more sense to finish the DLC before the main story, but I guess you don't have the problem since it's not a blind playthrough. The DLC was made and distributed after the main story, so it. it doesn't really Let's make more sense to do it please. either way, really. <laughs> Because the game is naturally designed to where it puts you before the final fight anyways, but the majority of people who played Horizon Zero Dawn finished the main story and then played the DLC months later. So, it makes just as much sense to play it the way it was released as well. Still a bit of water, but warm enough, wouldn't you say? Now then, where's that brick? Good question. Well, at least I should be able to- Snap ball! Snap ball! Snap maw! Very, very big snap maw! I see it, Gildan! Very big, very, very big! It's Just not the, it's like the way. normal size of a snap maw. Don't be ridiculous. How do I get down to its level? Right over here? Yeah. Excuse me, Mr. Snap Maw, I'd like to fight you to the death. You stand no chance. Anyways, yeah, you can play the DLC before finishing the main game or after. It doesn't really matter which way you do it. They designed the DLC to where it could be done right before fighting Hades and fit in fine. And then also they designed it to where you could play it at any time because it came out after the main game. So, you know. Hi there! Oh, you're all like demonified, huh? Hello. Get the water. After I killed it. Nope. Sir. Nope. Hey there, buddy. Yeah, let's talk about this. Oh, I pressed circle too late. 
Oh, I was too close for that. Nah, you're dead. You're dead, buddy. You're dead. Goodbye. Tell me when it's dead, would you? It's dead. <laughs> Marvelous. So, do, 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 the, uh, mine. Ring. Maybe if you pry its jaws open and reach inside, I can look. You were right. This thing did swallow the ring. Ha <laughs> ha! That's the old gilded intuition in action. It's never led me astray. Sure, its chosen routes can be a bit circuitous, but never mind. To the storage room. To the spoils. Oh, what's in here? More old world treasures, perhaps? This you can do the DLC whenever you want, and the game works out fine. Do we have a look? Didn't you want to? You're welcome to like doing it more at a different point, but. You can do the DLC whenever you want, and it works fine. Hope they fix the minigun nonsense in the sequel. Bows are not supposed to work like that. I like the way the bows work in the game. I hope it's the exact same. I need to do, but I wonder if I could empty out the whole dam. It's really fun combat. I care more about fun combat than I do about the bows being 100% realistic.